bass can and kick it. Hey everyone, welcome to Xbox On. I'm here with Paul from Mad Fellow Studios. Could you tell us a little bit more about your upcoming game, Aero? It looks amazing. It's um, a rhythm, action, on rails, music shooter. We haven't come up with a better description for exactly what it is yet. I think um, it's pretty accurate though, because I had a go on it and it, it, it's it's ridiculous amounts of fun. One of the things I uh, spotted as well is there's you can, there's a KTB track. There's a lot of really cool music, but you, it doesn't feel like kind of tacked on. It feels like really methodical how you've chosen it. Yeah, the KTB track was so happy to have it in there. It's a personal favourite. It was a big, big deal for us to get it in there. But yeah, we chose the tracks uh, primarily for the gameplay. So what will players uh, expect to face in the game? You essentially follow the ribbons, on-screen ribbons of light that match up with uh, elements of the track. So, for example, in Flux Pavilion, it's, it's the big synth sound. Um, and as you follow that, that plays that synth sound and you get better score for being closer to it. Um, and then you target enemies with the right stick and shoot enemies in time with the music. There are some boss battles that you face as well. Could you tell us a little bit more about those? Boss battles uh, tend to be timed. Um, you have to sort of learn patterns and time things. So tying that to music seemed like a fairly um, logical step. What are you uh, most excited about gamers uh, getting a hands on? It's different to a lot of music games. Um, find that tapping in time, some people love it, some people not so much, so we try to open it up. You don't need to be great at rhythm or anything like that. It will reward you for playing in time, but you don't have to. It will pull everything back in time. So it won't be frustrating for people like Benny who have no rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> There's obviously a lot of stuff to do with the movement, but what about uh, the shooting mechanics? With the shooting, it's, it is rhythmic, but you don't have to shoot in time. Um, you lock onto things and the targets all converge. And then when you shoot, if you shoot bang on time, you'll get a straight laser that just destroys everything. Once people have kind of like played through the game, tried all the tracks, is there any additional content that they get to try out? The first playthrough of the game um, will introduce all the different elements and hopefully by the end of the first playthrough, you'll be sort of well versed at all the different mechanics. And then we open up a mode where you play through from the start, but everything's included straight away. You know, the tracks that were easier will now be a bit harder and you'll get another playthrough. And then we've got all sorts of um, challenge modes and hardcore modes where um, you'll fail out if you don't stick right to the track. So in terms of like the music styles that you've used, uh, have you tried any others that have not quite worked or? Yeah, um, some music does tend to work better and we're, we're lucky that we've found enough tracks that but they were willing to work with us and license to us that were absolutely ideal for it. But yeah, we did try some others that, that weren't quite as successful. Um, guitars don't work that well, which is a shame. I love guitar music, but it, it just didn't work out as well. You've got a small team of three people, and sometimes people feel like trying to get into like games development is such a big, massive, impossible thing to do. What advice would you give to people who want to do that? There's a lot of support out there for small teams. Um, Particularly in the UK, there's a Creative England and Microsoft have put a uh, thing together called Green Shoots, which we applied to and they helped us fund it. It's been a huge help. Thank you so much for uh, chatting to us, telling more about your game. Let us know in the comments down below, are you excited about Aero? Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for way more cool content like this. And we'll see you next time. Bye.